What is up, everybody? Welcome to week 13 of the NFL season and the FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Brandon Gadula. I'm the managing editor at numberfire.com, and I'm going to be breaking down my three favorite stacks for the week 13 main slate. One high salaried stack I like for this week is Lamar Jackson and Marquise Brown. We have Jackson coming off of a down game in a primetime spot, but don't let that affect us too much for week 13. This isn't a flawless matchup by any means with the Steelers, but According to number fire, this is just an average adjusted pass defense, so it's not enough to get away from Jackson. Uh, Jackson also has played six games against similar comparable mid-tier adjusted pass defenses. In those games, he's averaged over 20 FanDuel points per game with 230 passing yards per contest and 11 and a half rush attempts as well. It's the first time around divisional matchup, so it's not as tough as most late season divisional matchups typically get to be for quarterbacks. As for Marquise Brown... He has an awesome 27% target share, 35% air yard share this year. He's averaging a league best 3.2 downfield targets per game as well. The Steelers are average against the downfield pass and their 29th in pressure rate. So that should set up well for this athletic duo to aim for some splash plays in week 13. My second stack for week 13's main slate is Justin Herbert with Keenan Allen. The Chargers draw the Bengals in a game with a strong over under. And yes, the Cincinnati defense is decent. Number Fires metrics have them ranked 15th. Herbert's not a stranger to good pass defenses. He's faced five top half adjusted pass defenses this year, including two inside the top five. And against those, he's averaged almost 22 Fandle points per game, 294 passing yards per game, two touchdowns per game. And he's also got similar marks against mid-tier defenses, defenses a little more comparable even to this Cincinnati defense. Uh, as for Allen, his role has been great. He has a target share of at least 30% in five individual games this season. His post-buy target share in five games is 31%. That comes along with a top four target per route rate in that span across all wide receivers. He's the focal point of this offense with Mike Williams taking a big step back. This offense should be able to move the ball this week, and that should lead to a high floor game for this stack. My third stack for Week 13's main slate is Matthew Stafford with Odell Beckham. We can go with Cooper Cup, we can go with Van Jefferson as well. Beckham's not 100%, but he is expected to go. But this is the top value stack in my simulation model in terms of 90th percentile outcome. Beckham last week tied for a team high with 10 targets for the Rams. It's the second game with the team, first post-buy game. He actually led in target per route rate uh, in week 12. Beckham drew 3 of 10 downfield targets as well, and that was one fewer than Van Jefferson, who again is totally viable. It's an elite role for Odell Beckham. Uh, right now with this team. As for Stafford, he's getting a matchup against the Jaguars team that ranks 29th in adjusted pass defense according to number fires metrics. And Stafford in five games against teams outside the top 20 in adjusted pass defense has averaged 21.9 Fandle points, 320 passing yards, and nearly two and a half touchdowns per game with a pristine 2.4% sack rate. That'll do it for my favorite NFL stacks for this week. Best of luck in week 13. Let's double dip on those touchdown passes on Sunday.